Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Are you guys ready to come and ride along with me today? Well, let's go then. Yeah, we are going to be leaving the Walmart. Yeah. It's been a fairly good morning. That's right. Looks like it could be snowing maybe later on in the day. But not right now, it's not snowing, so we're gonna get out of here then. That's right. Yeah. I just looked it up there on the internet there. And there's actually a uh, pilot right in the town where I delivered to so that is fantastic news that's right uh, we were going to try and make it up there I mean uh, it looked like I think it was like 72 or some, something like that parking spots that they got up there according to the program that I'm using Feet. So Turn hopefully left we'll get a parking spot. Well, according to RJ, I should get there quarter to four. That's fairly early. In right. feet. Turn left on US 71. So if that's the case that I'm going to be that early, yeah, then we should get a parking spot. I mean, even if we take our half an hour break yet somewhere or whatever. I should still get there about 4.30 in the afternoon, I would say. That would be awesome! It gives me time to work on my videos a little bit and... Uh, I don't really have to be there till... Uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. anyway, so... In a quarter of a mile, take the entrance to the no left big rush, right? That's at least what I think. So let's get on down over here to the interstate. And let's get rolling. That's right. In 700 feet, take the entrance to the left on I-94 East. Yes, RJ. That's what we're going to do. That's a plan anyways. Yeah, at least it's not too cold up here today. It's actually not bad at all. Only around a little bit below zero, maybe a couple of degrees only, that's it. Look at that beautiful American flag up there waving like that. That's beautiful. Yep, I guess they build trailers up here it looks like what it looks like. American build. You don't see too many of those anymore. Everything is built in China these days. That's right. So let's put the hammer down. And Continue on this let's road. Go. Here we are ladies and gentlemen. We have just passed through uh, Minneapolis. It was very good easy going through Minneapolis today. Now we are on I-35 southbound, that's right. I just talked to the customer. And uh, sounds like uh, they know about me, that I'm coming, so that's fantastic news. Did you get a check yet? Turn off. 
off that CB radio so we can do our show, right? But yeah, it's uh, it's good that they are aware of me coming, so that way they know that I'm going to be there, and they obviously got me scheduled in, so that's fantastic. That's what I like to hear. Oh, he did say that I can come in at 7, but he can't guarantee that they're going to get me unloaded right away, but uh, they're going to do their best they can. That's what he said. So that's fantastic. So then we can go in early and give it a shot, right? But it hasn't snowed yet or rained or anything like that yet, so... Uh, but it's still cloudy. That's okay. I might try to take cloudiness instead of rain or ice or snow. I would prefer sunshine, but hey, we can't always have sunshine. We do need rain as well. That's right. But it's a good day to be out here. Nice dry roads. It was good going through Minneapolis, like I said. No traffic at all, really. Yep. So let's get on down the road and see what will happen today. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for us to have a pit stop. That's right. We've been driving for a good while already, so. Uh, we must take a pit stop. In 300 feet, go straight on I-35. Yeah, we got a little bit of a pilot truck stop up here, which I believe I have been in before. If I'm not mistaken, it's a really small pilot too. It's not a very big pilot, that's for sure. Gotta get over into this left lane ASAP because uh, otherwise I can't get into this truck stop. Yeah. It started drizzling a little bit here. A little bit ago, I guess. In one mile, turn left on it still is. Street, IA 107. Drizzling every once in a while. Just trying to see where that truck is going. I don't see no truck parking that way. Unless he's got a delivery up there. Here we go. We have had our half an hour break now. So it's time for us to get back at it again and do some more rolling. Yeah, that's right. GPS says we got uh, 219 miles to go. Well, that's not too bad. That should bring us there by 4.30 in the afternoon. That's exactly what I was thinking earlier. That's about the time that I was thinking earlier that we were going to get there. That looks like that's still, uh, still the thing, still the possibility. That we could get there on that time. Yeah. Hopefully we won't be getting any ice drizzle up here. That wouldn't be good. Yeah. Clear Lake, Iowa. That's where we stop. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we've been cruising along here for a couple of hours again, and we only got about 24 more miles to go. That means we will be in there in about a half an hour, or a little less than half an hour. We'll be at our delivery place. Well, we're not going directly to our delivery place, but. Uh, we are going to the uh, pilot up there and we got a couple of good news and we got one bad news. Now which one would you like to hear first? 
Well, none of them have to do anything with you guys anyway, so. <laughs> so I'll give you the bad news first. The bad news is, I received an email earlier today, and it says that, uh, well, it says that uh, my Wi-Fi system that I got here in the truck is uh, pretty much going downhill. That's pretty much what's going on. I pretty much got told that it's going to be cut down from 60 gigabytes a month down to 20 gigs a month. And the price will go up 50% for those 20 gigs yeah so that is not great news for me well I guess in a way you could say it could be bad news for you too right because uh, that would mean I wouldn't be able to upload any uh, videos here on the road but we do have some good news on this story as well they do, uh, like the company that I'm going through that uh, has the Sprint system is not directly through Sprint, but they do have uh, a couple of different options that they sent me in the email and they're kind of working with uh, T-Mobile and AT&T and some of them companies to, uh, to get some internet uh, solutions and uh, T-Mobile has offered a 22 gigabyte a month plan I think for like 139 US dollars a month. And then if you go over that 22, you get unlimited streaming services for Netflix and some of those companies, you know. So if you watch movies through Netflix, you get unlimited, but uh, I'm not really using that for that. So I'm using it to upload my videos. So, and that's not covered under the unlimited system. So that ain't gonna do me any good. So then we got, uh, offered uh, T-Mobile, or not T-Mobile, uh, T-Mobile was the one that I just talked about, AT&T. And they got a 20 gig plan, I think for 140 somewhat dollars, something like that, so that's just ridiculous. They want an arm and a leg for internet usage. That doesn't cost them that much to provide internet for us. I know that for a fact it doesn't cost them that much, but anyways uh, that's not very good news for me so uh, but there is more good news there is I talked to Rogers and they do have a good system up there for Canada so we're gonna go with that option I think that's about the only option there's left really I mean there really is that's the only option that really is there so so what we're gonna do is we're gonna probably call them up here later on yet I talked to them already on the phone but I haven't uh, gone through with the order yet but uh, now what they do have is uh, they do have an option that uh, it's kind of like it's not really pay as you go but they got an option where you start off let's say with five gigabyte and it's costing me $60 a month and then if I go over the 5 gigs it goes into uh, a 25 gig plan or something like that and that'd be going to be up to $75 a month or something like that and then uh, the next option it goes up automatically is uh, 50 gigs which is going to run me $110 a month and then they got an up, another uh, option that goes up to 100 gigs and that would go up to $140 a month. So, uh, so that's actually the next best thing. So for 140 bucks a month or whatever, and that's Canadian dollars, I can get 100 gigs. And up here, I can only get a 20 gig package for 140 bucks US. Now, you do the calculation on that with the exchange rate, it's $1.38 for $1 US. So that's gonna run me almost 100, probably 190 bucks a month so for 20 gigs that's crazy so we're going to go to rogers and we're going to hook up with them so all that's going to do is it's we're going to have to wait till we get back into canada till we can start uploading our videos so that's the only problem 
I mean, generally we are back in Canada within seven days, but uh, there might be times where that's not possible, but we do have an option to uh, upload our videos through my phone because I do have internet here in the US as well with this Rogers package but I only get 15 gigs with uh, with my phone plan so and I'm using that up <laughs> just on regular usage already so but if it comes push to shove or whatever you want to call it I'm gonna have to use the phone to upload it just to uh, have the video up I suppose but uh, but yeah, so those are some of the bad news and some good news and then I got another good news and that is we got a reload offer can reload out of Cedar Rapids here tomorrow or the supposed to be a preloaded trailer ready there tomorrow afternoon for me and that is going where? You guessed it, Toronto that's what we were hoping for so not until we pick up that load I guess we won't know for sure if that's going to be happening but uh, that's the plan for right now anyways and that's fantastic news for me you know what that means we're going to be going to Master Sick that's right but anyways enough of that we got only about 17 more miles to go I guess and we'll be uh, in Mount Pleasant Iowa that's right well guys we've been done for a good while already yeah we've been sitting in here in this tight truck stop yeah that is really full in here already and it is really tight to get in here especially if trucks are parked across from each other right so yeah it is a tight one but uh, we finally got a truck beside us and there's one right there so we are good. We are in business. I hope so anyways. Hopefully they won't take my front bumper off tomorrow when I when they take off, right? Because I'm gonna be in here for uh for a good while yet, you know, because I don't need to leave right away in the morning. But let's take a look. We are only 1.8 miles from our delivery. Now tell me how often do you get that, especially for those that are driving trucks? How often do you get that that you can be parked 1.8 miles away from your delivery place now I know I don't get that hardly ever <laughs> yeah so uh, our delivery has been scheduled for 10 a.m. and I ain't gonna leave here before probably 9 30 ish or something like that anyways because uh, I talked to the guy this morning and he said it's he said I can try coming in early but he said he can't guarantee that they'll get me unloaded so and I'm only like 70 uh, 70 miles away from where I pick up my reload so uh, and that only picks up in the afternoon so uh, no big deal in me rushing it right at least that's my opinion so uh, anyways that's about it for today I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and be sure to stick around for tomorrow and we'll try and show you a interesting show tomorrow so stick around and see what happens it's time to get going it's time to move on put this behind me that day is gonna come